uh, I would like to uh, thank Mr. Yanis Balakakis for his kind invitation. So ladies and gentlemen, 10 years ago in 2013, China launched the Belt and the Road Initiative. Since then, China has vigorously followed the principles of extensive consultation, joint contribution, and shared benefits, making solid progress in the high quality development of the BRI. As of September this year, 149 countries and 32 international organizations had signed more than 200 cooperation agreements with China to jointly build this initiative. Interconnection means fewer barriers to mutual exchanges, more opportunities for trade and investment, and a wider path for joint development. From 2013 to 2021, the cumulative trade in goods between China and the countries of the belt was approximately 11 trillion US dollars, with the two-way investment exceeding 230 uh, billion US dollars. In the first three quarters of this year, economic and trade exchanges became even closer, taking the, Balkan sea, uh, taking the Black Sea and the Balkans as an example. In August this year, the construction of the Palaszczuk Bridge in Croatia, a project undertaken by a Chinese consortium, was successfully completed and opened to traffic Realizing the long cherished wish of connecting the country's south and the north coasts. In July, the priority session of the Montenegro's Babojar Highway, constructed by the China Road and Bridge Corporation, was also opened. In July, the foundation was laid for construction the uh, Ivalwig wind farm in Bosnia and Herzegovina with a capacity of 84 megawatts. In March, the Belgrade uh, Novi Sad section of the, uh, of the Hungary Serbia railway in Serbia was officially opened to traffic. So with a maximum speed of train uh, increasing from about 45 kilometers to 200 kilometers per hour, uh, per hour. One by one, the implementation of these projects clearly shows that the Asian Silk Road continues to shine, is infused with new vitality, and keeps benefiting all people along its path. At its present, the joint construction of BRI has become a popular uh, global public good and an international cooperation platform in which the countries of the Balkans, the Black Sea region, the Central and Eastern European countries play a significant role. 10 years ago, China and the Central and Eastern European countries jointly established a cross-region cooperation platform, the China CEEC cooperation mechanism. Over the past 10 years, trade volume between China and the CEEC has rapidly grown by 143%, reaching 137 billion US dollars last year, with the export of agricultural products from the CEEC to China increasing by 1.5 times. Since the beginning of our cooperation, the number of Chinese tourists vi visiting uh, the CEC in 2019, before the pandemic, has nearly uh, quadrupled to 2.17 uh, million. Connecting China, uh, sorry, concerning the China-EU relations, I believe that dialogue cooperation, mutual benefit, and win-win results still characterize our relations. Ten days ago, the President of the European Council, 
Mr. Michel visit China. So during his meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Li Keqiang, he stated that the EU is ready to become a reliable and predictable cooperation partner for China. China has always believed that as two main powers in the multipolar world, China and the EU have a solid foundation for cooperation since they shared a broader range of common interests. China and Europe have no strategic differences or conflicts. We support the EU's strategic autonomy and united prosperity. And we aspire to see the EU could share the opportunities from China's vast market, institutional opening up, and increasing international cooperation. Recently, uh, some politicians and media in the West echoed the decoupling theory advocating the reduction of dependence on China. The more complicated as it, uh, as the situation becomes, the more China and the EU should preserve their mental resilience and rationality. Europe benefits greatly from the China's rapid development. In 2021, our trade volume for the first time exceeded $800 billion US dollars and two-way investment was over 270 billion US dollars. In the first nine months of this year, our trade volume reached 646 billion US dollars, a year-on-year -year increase of 7.9%. The EU invested 7.5 billion US dollars in China in the first eight months, a year-on-year -year increase of 122%. So recently, the leaders of many European countries have voiced their expectation for deepening cooperation with China. During his visit to China, German Chancellor Schulz stated that he is willing to deepen economic and trade cooperation with China, and that Germany is ready to play its part in further developing China-EU relations. And during the recent G20 summit in Bali, Indonesia, the French president, Spanish prime minister, Dutch prime minister, and Italian prime minister expressed the willing to strengthen the cooperation with China when they met with President, president Xi Jinping. So, whether because of their fundamental interests or long-term plan, China and the EU should adhere to the two-way openness, break down barriers, maintain the stability and smooth cooperation of the global industrial and supply chains, promote trade and investment while facilitating the liberalization and jointly lead the global post-pandemic recovery and prosperity by providing stability in a much more turbulent world. Ladies and gentlemen, this year marks the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic relations between China and Greece. <clears throat> Over the past 50 years, despite the constant changes in the international environment, China and Greece relations remained rock solid and were never shaken. Under the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative, Greece's role as a gateway for China-EU cooperation is further highlighted, and our mutually beneficial cooperation has produced fruitful results, such as the port of Piraeus the hallmark of our win-win cooperation. Our two countries continue to deepen cooperation in fields such as the creation of regional logistic hubs and green energy transformation, positively contributing towards regional connectivity and joint development. The 20th National Congress of the CPC stressed that 
China will stick to its fundamental national policy of opening up, firmly pursue a mutually beneficial and win-win strategy, adhere to the right path of economic globalization, and strengthen the connection between its domestic and international markets and resources so as to provide the world with new opportunities. China will steadily expand institutional opening up with regards to rules, regulations, management, and standards. <clears throat> Greece emerged from the shadow of Europe debt crisis is now accelerating its digital transformation and green development, striving to become a regional transportation hub and a logistics and energy transshipment center. So the development strategies of our two countries are highly compatible. Our economies and technologies complement one another. The potential of cooperation is great as are its prospects, China looks forward to reaching a new consensus and join up a new blueprint for its relations with Greece, so as to enrich the China-Greece comprehensive strategic partnership and work together to build an open world economy and a new model of international relations. Thank you, thank you very much. <clears throat>